Hello, guys. Welcome to episode 48 of Steak and Eggs. I'm Emmy. I'm with my dear friends, Techie and Asmin, and uh, we're all chilling here again. Uh, this week, some cool stuff happened. Uh, I started my new show. Uh, an MMA event happened. Miz's thing at Iron Forge Gym. We all watched that. What'd you guys think? It was cool. She was huh? insane. Yeah, like, and, really good. Yeah, we were talking about this a bit before we went live. In person, you would have no idea there was any production stuff going wrong. But, but, uh, but yeah, there he, was a situation it. that happened with the audio. A yeah. number of yeah, them. Yeah, I heard the audio. Yeah, I, thought was like, I thought it was just chat being a, like a bitch. A stroke. Well, that's kind of what I thought too, because I was like, I was looking at the chat and I was like, well, chat like always complains during IRL or during yeah. events, but it, I guess it apparently was that to bad. To be fair, it wasn't that bad. Mm. It was just bad. It, like, okay. I mean, it, on a scale of like, you know, because I've seen some really, like, because I think of like, what is the worst IRL event you can do? Our one year anniversary. Right? That was the worst <laughs> one. Was and so Wait, what was, was like, wrong with that one? It, it was like flashing. Like the, 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 the camera would go and it would turn black like every few seconds. Oh, I didn't even know that. And it was like yep. giving people like, like fucking seizures and shit. It was awful. And so, yeah, that, that, that was the worst one. And so compared to that, I'd say the MMA thing went pretty well. But it was great watching people beat the shit out of each other. It really was. It was like an ADD TikTok Zoomer pacing as well. <laughs> it was really fast. Everybody got knocked out. There was only yeah. one match that went to draw, which is submission. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that in MMA, people like the faster knockout matches and the drawn out ones, they think that they're kind of boring. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. I mean, like, like when a match starts, also the the cosplay, like the the peach. Oh, thank you. Everybody yeah, before, the before the stream, yeah. I uh, I put the cosplay on the ring girls. Yeah. yeah Linity was Kitana. Peach Stars was um, Cami, And then Stacia was Sonya Blade. Yeah. It's all fighting characters. It was dope, dude. It, it was such a good event. But uh, yeah, watching Baldi go in, knock that bitch out in one round. The one punch man. Yes. Did you see that shit? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I do remember that. That was fucking amazing. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> and yeah, he that that was really good. A lot of the matches were really good. And like I was kind of surprised at how fast some of them were over. But it's like also I can imagine like wrestling down there. I bet you would be fucking tired in 30 seconds. Oh, absolutely. Like you'd just be exhausted. I think oh the my average God. street fight lasts like 90 seconds. I'm amazed it's more not nine seconds. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's actually pretty long. Yeah. Yeah. That's a minute and a half. Yeah. No, I mean uh it was really good. I will yeah. say that was my first UFC event I've ever watched in real life. That was very hard for me to watch after like the first one or two. Because like when you know the guy's fucked, yeah. you know he's out well, and the ref doesn't call it yet. It makes me so uncomfortable. I don't think that happened. Did that happen? I didn't see it. There was one round. Was it? Um, it was just one. What was his name? I have no idea any of the names. <sighs> He, has, he had a cool name, but I think it was like one of the final ones, right? Yes. And he was like completely on the ground. He's like, oh, we're going to see if he can get back up. And he was just there like. <laughs> yeah. like and I was like, well, maybe he just wants to give him a chance. Yeah. I don't know. But then there was one where it's like, okay, like the guy, no, I'm not even kidding you. It was uh, when the homeless guy, when the homeless guy fought the dude who looked. The homeless guy? Yeah, there was the homeless <laughs> dude. Beard. Huge beard. Huge long. It looked like okay. eye dabs. I don't remember that I at dubs? all. I, yeah. I came in halfway through. I dubs through. has a homeless man beard? He, he kind did. of does now. Yeah. To be fair, he kind of does. Yeah. He, he looked like jacked eye dubs. Yeah. Uh, anyways, he, he okay. like knees this guy in the fucking stomach. The dude literally went like full fatality mode waiting for him to execute his finisher. The dude runs up and knees him again in the stomach and the ref immediately calls it halfway as he's falling to the floor. That shit was insane, bro. Super good. I hope they keep doing that shit. Also, uh, yeah, I'm wondering how much Fandy gave Miz to sponsor the event to get uh, that known. Like, they sponsored this event. Like, how much money? I offered 10K. Knut said, eh, not enough. Maybe we can <laughs> give you a small shout out. And I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know if they, they said how much. I think I know how much. It was, it was a lot. I think I've heard about that too. Yeah. How much? I think it was like 30K. That's it? Yeah, that was my understanding. Yeah, I heard 25. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Leave a comment if me and saying so, that's it to 30K made you angry. Well, it's an, <laughs> it's an advertisement, right? Dreamer I mean, so moment. you're paying for advertising. It's pretty yeah. simple, really. But yeah, I don't know really what it was, but I was amazed. I really was. I thought the event went really well. I mean, collectively between like, you know, his stream and like all the other people streaming and like myself, collectively everybody had like over 100,000 viewers. Oh, yeah. For like the first event, that's going to be crazy. Yep. And I'll probably go to the second one. 
That's the thing. I might actually go. It to was it. way better, yeah. way better live. It was actually, I'll I'll remember that night. Forever. It was right. like yeah. that dope. The energy was really good in was person. Good. Between yeah. every single set, I was getting so hyped from the fights. Mm -hmm. I would get my homie, like five, six people to go down to the weight side and just like start that, this one. Yeah, right here. So look, look at that. Tell me that's not, tell me that's not iDubs. There he is. There's the finisher moment. <laughs> that's not <Dead>. iDubs. <laughs> Dead immediately. What a fight that was. That was crazy too, because uh, I heard that the tickets were completely sold out and, and they were like 100 to 400 bucks. Damn. Jesus. For the, the sitting and table tickets. Yeah. There, there were people them. standing, I think, for free or like yeah. cheap. I'm not sure. Yeah. But. No, it was dope. And I was getting hyped between each match. So me and my homies would go lift mid set every yeah. time. The security guards up. I talked to all the MMA guys too. Super nice, super humble. I did not feel like they were going to kill me at any point, yeah. which I was very <laughs> shocked by. Nice. It makes me want to get in the ring. And just get clobbered. <laughs> just get well, my I've, ass. I've been learning the brain damage. I'd be willing to do that too. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's really just the brain damage problem. That would be a really fun, like, special. You take one MMA fighter and then every dude from OTK, yeah. whoever can last in the ring the longest. <laughs> whoever lasts the longest. Without saying uncle. Dude, that would be so funny. Damn, that would be such a fucking Wait, who, crazy dream. Who would you guys pick to fight? That's another content creator. Oh, if I were to fight someone, yeah, in like MMA? It, one person. I think that everybody knows what the answer is for me. Who Goblin? Is it XQC? Obviously. Oh, XQC would be insane. <laughs> Obviously, but why? Because we're pretty much the same person, so it would be the most even match that you could have. Yeah. You think you and XQC are the similar? Absolutely. I think you're similar in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. Insane. I don't see a single one. Am I nuts? They both shut in at their computer all day, skinny, tall. Oh, like lifestyle wise? Gen. Well, the way that we look, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, lifestyle body, wise and body looks. Type I was thinking, yeah, body type, I just yeah. think of like personality wise. I think y'all are very different. Oh, everybody's different. But yeah, yeah no, I, I'm just saying, I think that would probably just be it. That being said. But yeah, <laughs> I think that would probably be it. But no, there's no way I would fucking do that. How old is X? He's like 29, 30, I think. Yeah. It's like a little bit younger. He's 29, yeah, yeah. Maybe even 28, actually. No, you would no, win. I don't think he's 28. Yeah, no, you would win. I don't know. You know, you're a lot more athletically gifted. With a, Based on what? The swords. Or, yeah, I don't have to move the sword around, though. I'm very good at that, but yeah. I, I can't bring a sword. Can he bring a sword into MMA? I've never Maybe. seen somebody do that. But it, I mean, but like, what, yeah, what physical he, practice does X have, right? He's good at FPS, right? Headshot. <laughs> Yeah, his accuracy for his punches will be insane. He'll, no, he'll yeah. punch the exact spot to just yeah. fucking knock him yeah. out if I were his to, head. If I were to fight someone, I know on principle, any gotcha streamer, I would love to fight any of them. Okay. Well, they're, they're probably all like right. really skinny, small Asian guys, right? Yeah. Most of them. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, Most are. of them, not all of them. And then uh, for a more fair fight, I don't even know. A fair fight for tech? Oh, Zoyle. I'd fight Zoyle. Oh, yeah? That, that wouldn't be fair. That'd be fair. He's huge. He's well. He's taller and, and heavier, right? How the fuck would I do any damage to that guy with all this blubber? Then how, yeah, that's not fair. Uh, oh well, yeah, but I would still, I would I would outspeed him. Um, I would aim yeah. for his legs. You would like would, run around him. Yeah, and I would chop him, him down over. like a tree. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'd get him eventually. I'd probably fight. <laughs> all my answers are just silly because I mean I can't fight seriously anyway. I'd probably fight like Lily. Lily P two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I used to say Valkyrie, but I mean I've seen, dude. She actually is like. She has like tone. You what? Know? Now you're intimidated now? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, she's a fucking model for Gymshark. Okay. Yeah. You probably shouldn't do that then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it was. It was insane. I wasn't quite sure the the difference. Not that this matters. The difference in strength between me and you. I was not aware of that at all. What do you? What when do we you did mean? curls on that machine during your gym stream. Oh yeah, he was like oh, casual under ten. I was like doing like twenty. I was like, yeah. Julia, Emmy, it's too heavy. <laughs> Emmy was curling thirty pounds on this weight machine. That's a good amount, right? And yeah. so then I went on it, and I went up to like seventy. Sure. I was like, okay. And then it was too light. And then I went to one ten, still too light. Wow, do you feel proud flexing on the five foot <laughs> no, three, a yeah. hundred pound Asian woman? No, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. But uh, clearly, it was sick though. I'm not gonna lie, man. It made me feel like I was a fucking freak. Anyways, oh my uh, anyways God. I curled two hundred and seventy on this machine. Uh, which is okay, we'll curl against soil and, and then talk, we'll that, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I would. When he comes out here, and I'm sure he'll come down here soon. Uh, I am curious because I can only curl like maybe 40, 45 pounds. So I don't know how the <laughs> fuck I was curling 270 on this machine. That shit made me feel insane. Also, Julia. That's her name, right, Julia? Yeah, she's my trainer. Yeah, amazing trainer. Yeah, she's Super cool. good. And uh, also, Canute and Wake. I do not like those two.
Yeah, at all. you want to you want to fight them? Is that it? Nope. But I want them <laughs> to stop making me do leg day because the problem is they do these streams where they lift together and nobody wants to do the same workouts they do. So Canute calls me and says, Tectone, we need someone. No one wants to do it. And they make me train legs with them every fucking time. And it's Ooh. miserable. Fucking miserable. I feel like a weak, pathetic man. I can't stand out. When I go to piss in the toilet, my legs are hobbling. You have to go sit down and piss. So yep. what, what, is, yeah. what is he making you do that's so bad? Because one of the recent times I was at the gym, I was like doing like ab curls or whatever and Miz came over. He was like, bro, what they're doing over there is fucking stupid. Yep. And they were talking about you guys doing the like squats. So what were you doing? That was so bad. So first of all, the thing when I work out with Wake and Canute is there's this thing that uh, Wake talks about called muscle atrophy. I think that's the word. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where it's okay. like your muscles cannot move anymore. You don't get to stop until your muscles cannot move. Right? So they do two warm up sets and then they make you go to atrophy. Okay, mm -hmm. I blacked out twice already just Wait, by working out. With that's him. bad. And then how? Wait, much so, someone at the gym was telling me this story about uh, a trainer in Austin that a bunch of other trainers don't like because they trained so someone so hard that they fucking died. <laughs> what? Like they the they were fuck? they were training some woman for like I don't know like bodybuilding shows or something, and she trained so hard that she like passed out on like a treadmill and just fucking died. That's insane. That is so fucking cool though. What a way to die. That's how I want to die. It's on a treadmill? I feel like it'd be way better if you like, I mean, it would have to be in like some kind of like really strong lift or something like that. Yeah. You don't want to die on a treadmill. I mean, come on. But like knowing Dude, that- like, You just like pass it, your body like crumples. And, yeah, it's like it, with the, the so conveyor belt of the, of the thing just moving you yeah, off. Yeah, well, these yeah. trainers yeah. are saying like, I don't know how this person still has their license because someone that they were training literally died. Well, you can't win them all, right? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean- on their tombstone, bro went too hard. Yeah. Like, that is so sick. All Dies aside, from going too hard. <laughs> yeah. Like, few people can uh, say that. Yeah. Joke aside, I actually love, I, I love training with Knut and Wig. Not during it, but after. Yeah. Because, like, I know that, like, I'm, I'm getting yeah, stronger. Yeah, I'm sure the results Wait, are really good. They're insane. There is there is nobody else, like, working out with Wake and Knut. But they do these things called, like, uh, like, like Nordic hack <laughs> squats, where they make you squat at an angle. That way you can go deeper and you lean against the bar while you do them. That can't be good for your knees. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was doing as much as I fucking can. And uh, yeah, I fucking blacked out once, woke up. And then when you know how many you did the first set, you cannot stop until you match the set again on the next set. So you have to go back to this godforsaken place that you went to the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... After you've completely blown out your quads from doing these squats, they make you do quads again. So then they make you do weighted lunges on the exact same machine. And then once you've blown out your quads, they make you do your quads again. Are you well, maybe do we'll have shit? somebody else die. Yeah. Are you going to do this shit? I don't think so. He's yeah, gonna work, I don't He's going to work that. out with Demetrius Johnson. I mean, I would be down for that. That'd be fine. And, and the other worst thing is, is that I don't... Okay, so I have this debuff <laughs> where people don't feel bad for me when I push myself yeah. to the limit. So for Knut's chat, I literally have to go tell him about a fucking puke. Right. Right. Em did Emily Did Emily get a positive or negative threat from her crying? I can't remember. Were people calling her a bitch or were people like, oh my God, um, so sorry, Queen? It was like half and half. I was yeah, like, I'd say probably mixed, but I mean, the people being negative were probably just like LSF people would complain about anything. Yeah. Anyway. I can't believe that she would be on the camera and do this. Yeah. But but I, I get why people like watching me push myself that much uh, because I get the same feeling when I go to the gym with my homies. I, I work out with a bunch of people from uh, Jimmy's house. Like there's this dude called VC, real small little guy. Oh, he's going to hate that if he hears this episode. I really hope he doesn't hear that because he hates being called a little guy. <laughs> a little he's guy. Like, he's like 5'2". Oh. Yeah, a little, little yeah. short guy. Sweetest guy on earth, though. And he, his dedication is insane. Yeah. So, like, I always take him to his limit in the gym as well. And like, it is like such a cool feeling. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a dad watching like your son hit his first home run. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so cool watching your homies get stronger. Uh, I just, I'm, I cannot wait for Camp Canute. The ideas I have for Camp Canute is insane. Really? I'll spoil them. I'm going to do a you lift, you lose. Right? What? You lift, you lose. So Shouldn't it's like it be you... the other way around? Shouldn't it be you don't lift, you lose? Yes. But that doesn't say you, uh, you YDL. That's YL. actually a really good point. Yeah. yeah. So you just call it one thing and it's actually the opposite. 100%. Yeah. Uh, to where we go into uh, Iron Forge Gym. We have a projector. 
we play memes. If you laugh at the meme, you lose unless you lift the weight up. And each time the weight has been lifted, the weight is going to go up okay. until you're eliminated. It sounds, that sounds like a Mario Party game. Exactly. Yeah. So like one, for people who have really good mental and can fight laughing, they won't have to lift as much. But the people who have weaker mental who can't, who, who will laugh are stronger. Yeah. So they'll be able to lift more. So you're saying like the, the dumb people are strong and the weak people are smart. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> yeah, that would you sense. agree? Oh, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. And then also I want to do battle royale st- uh, type content where I get like 10 streamers and we go <laughs> hiking. And the last person who goes the furthest in their hike wins like $10,000. Okay, you right? just keep walking? I mean, who could not just, like, couldn't you just keep walking? I mean, who would, who couldn't Come, do that? Do it. Do it then. He would want to go home after like an hour. And hiking though, not walking, like in the mountains. Uh, yeah, yeah, have you been hiking before? Yeah, of course. You just walk. This motherfucker does I don't know, hiking. man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and also, uh, after each interval, if people aren't dropping out, we're going to be, they're, we're going to be carrying a rucksack. So we're going to ruck march. Okay. And we're going to add weight to the backpack. That sounds, that's so, that's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And then we'll have mini games along the way to where people complete the mini games. They'll be able to take out weight from their backpack mm-hmm. to continue. But uh-huh. the mini games will exhaust you physically. Like there's a cat stuck in a tree. We'll climb up the tree, get the cat out. You take 30 pounds out of your backpack. People, I don't know if people are going to be able to climb up a tree, man. Like, that's just hard to do. Well, yeah, but we'll have some very athletic people. I'm okay. A, yeah, like one of the guys who's going to come is a, he's a, he's a retired Marine. All right. So yeah. maybe he could do it. Yeah, it'd yeah. be all right. Get that cat. But uh, yeah, are you guys looking forward to Camp Canoe? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'll have to come up with an excuse of why I can't do it this time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be like something like, I don't know, like maybe my back or I've been having like a headache or something <laughs> like that. There's gonna have to be some reason it's not gonna happen. Yeah, weren't you supposed to? Uh, weren't you supposed to do it this year? No, I never said that. I never said that. I never, ever, ever said that. Okay. I never even implied that. But if there was a clips that said that you said that, well, then I would probably be saying it was out of context. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 This is yeah. yeah. This is fake. And now a word from our sponsors. Every day, millions of people tune into streamers from all across the world. These streamers fight tooth and nail for attention, fame, and fortune. However, only a select few have the spark, charisma, and talent to rise to the top. This is OTK's Top Streamer, a show where aspiring streamers will have the chance to step into the spotlight. They'll face grueling elimination challenges, push their creative boundaries, and battle for the ultimate cash prize and the title of OTK's top streamer. Do you have what it takes to defy the odds and rise above the noise? Who has what it takes? Who can defy the odds and rise above the competition? Oh my God. Speaking of out of context, holy fuck, bro. What? I pissed off the last guy who I wanted to piss off recently. Who's that? Your editor. Why? Dude. I, I made a video where I had your back and I made a video about where I was like talking about how like, I was joking. Uh-huh. People were giving him shit. So I was joking about like people being upset at your editor that you should fire him as a joke. But he took it seriously or I'm not understanding his banter. It's one of the two. Yeah. Either he was bantering back and I didn't get it or I upset him. I don't even know. I don't really talk to him a whole lot. They just kind of okay. do whatever the fuck they want. Dude. Yeah, like, I let my editor do that too. Yeah, I, I'll make a video and then, <laughs> or I'll see some on stream and then my editor will make a video actively saying that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. And then upload it to my own channel. Yeah. Dude, I'll be real with I, I feel like your editor is one of the greatest content creators on the whole platform, man. What is it? Like the, that shit is so funny. The way, like yeah. the way he uses the AI voice to give the delivery, the the choice of that specific AI voice. I just wanted to go on. Do record you just have one editor? Or do you have two. a team too? Two. I think this one yeah. is Daily Dose of Asmongold. I think that's the editor. Uh, mm-hmm. Daily Dose usually does the clips channel, and then Cat Danny mainly does the main channel. Like that's yeah. generally how it is. Dude, he's. I just wanted to go on record saying I don't want no beef with them, man. I got nothing but respect that for that it? guy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean they farm, man. They do what they need to do. They're so good. Like, listen, yeah. for all the people I've had issues with, I stand by them, right? The God's community, they're pussies, right? But, dude, I don't want beef with your editor. Don't go, don't go to war with an editor. <laughs> yeah, there you <laughs> go. I don't want to, man. Well, I mean, I remember they did a video even whenever I came over to your sandwich shop. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they uploaded that. How was that, by the way? It was fun. Really? Uh, 
Well, uh, kind of what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, so what it was is um, me and extra Emily, yeah. we, we found this sandwich shop owner who would let us, you know, work in his shop for a day and like basically run the store kind of. I mean, he was like telling us what to do. But so we invited a bunch of people and we were like, oh, probably no like real customers or viewers are going to really come, like maybe a couple. But it ended up being like all viewers and then like, Two streamers, or three, I think three streamers came. Fandy showed up, I think. Yeah, and you then came. I was there. And then, um, oh gosh, I don't remember her name, but it was the woman. You've seen like the extremely clip where it's like, you can't cook crack here, ma'am, or whatever. No, that I was, never watched that. That was actually a stream sniper and she, yep. she came. Yeah. Oh, great. So <laughs> I guess three streamers. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna go to that sandwich shop. It's so f it was so far away. Wasn't I got, it? I got, no, it wasn't even that. Deal. I got oh, really? a message saying there was like things that I got to be careful about doing. And so I just didn't want to risk it. So I was like, okay, I'm just not going to go because I don't want to like make you as a sponsor. Hmm. I was not aware of that. I yeah. was concerned about that too. Yeah. And then, Wait, did, did they send you that message? Yeah, I just ignored it. And like, cause, well, there were a few <laughs> times like, because I remember like I, I was, I, there were so many jokes I was about to make there and I was like, oh, fuck. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't want to fuck with your sponsor. Wait, so it was, it was probably yeah. like, don't curse, don't like... Yes reference certain things? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, as soon as there were women making me sandwiches, I thought of a few jokes, <laughs> and, you know, well, I'm like, I, okay. I, we literally made those jokes, but... Yeah, but it's different whenever I do it, you know? <laughs> it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I mean, what's going to be the uh, the next idea? What is the next plan? Um... It's not set in stone yet, but we had an idea. We wanted to go to a a certain event and then maybe do like a ice cream truck, but we're, it's like not completely flushed out yet. An ice cream truck? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Yeah. So would you have to serve ice cream then? Yeah. Oh, jeez. What? It'd be fun. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I don't know. I mean, like it would just, like, I, I hate working with food. Okay. Like I'm going to be honest. I absolutely hate it. Like, if I had to sit there and wash dishes all day, I would much rather do that than work with the food. Even if washing the dishes is harder. Why is it? Because I don't like being around a lot of food. And it smells bad. I don't like what? smells. That's really weird. Yeah, I don't like I don't like being able to smell. I don't have a very good sense of smell. So if I'm around food and I can actually smell it regularly, it makes me feel uneasy. Because I can't smell hardly anything. So if there's anything that I can smell, it's very upsetting. This is interesting because one of my best friends in high school, she had a similar thing. The only smell that she could smell was like bleach and ammonia. And she used to be able to smell, but she like, well, she said some shit like she drank so much like Mountain Dew that she just like didn't have like a, t a sense of like smell or taste. And that's why I was going to bring it up. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Wait, so what smells do you smell really strongly? Dead animals. Can you smell bleach and like piss? Yeah. No, I can smell kind of some bleach, but that's about it. Okay. Um, what kind of food? Like cooking meat? No, not really. I can't smell meat very well. What does bleach smell like to you? Like if there's something else that smells like bleach, what would it, that kind be? Kind of like ammonia or something like that where it has like a, uh, a, a very like dry smell to it, I guess. What else does ammonia smell like to you? I would say, I mean, I don't have like a, a, a an apparatus of of connections here. Well, this is a very specific uh, I, question, so, but you don't get that. No, not okay. really. All right. No, I, I don't. Wait, like, what are you le leading? Like, no, I, don't, I mean, guys I don't say know. that ammonia and bleach smells like something else. No, no, okay. not really. Right, never mind then. I mean, well, I I don't really smell very well, right? So I can't smell yeah. most of the, like it's ninety five percent. Uh -uh. oh, I know, yeah. I could tell that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, no, yeah. I I really have no idea. Like, yeah, I don't have any any real sense of smell. I think it's great, actually. It's amazing that I don't have a sense of smell. But that means that you probably also don't have a sense of taste. Yeah, your sense, your taste is like, it's largely affected by your sense of smell. It like is. part of your sense of taste is just like 50% smell. That's how I can eat the lemons and it doesn't bother me at all. That's wild. It's like a superpower. Like eating a lemon is like drinking water to me. It's also kind of sad, man. He's like desensitized to acid. It is the, yes. the soda. Okay, like, do you ever have, like, a root beer and, like, it's it, like, burns the fuck out of your throat? So, I used to have a lot of problems with that whenever I first started streaming, and uh, then it went away. It's the corrosion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all of that is totally gone. The corrosion. Yeah. Oh, man. 
We'll get you fixed up. <sighs> oh, for sure. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm actually, I don't look, I don't want to fix it. I don't want to, if I, if I could take something or have somebody like, I could push a button to make my smell work. I would not push the button. This is like, this is, okay. Another story of someone oh, no. that I knew in high school. So my first yeah. high school boyfriend only drank carbonated things. Like he wouldn't drink water. My even man. if he drank lemonade, it was like carbonated lemonade. Like the Fonso and, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then when he was 16, he got a kidney stone because he only drank soda. Like how? Have you ever gotten one? Kidney stone? I don't even know what those are. Dude, also, I've never got one either. Isn't it like... It's where you piss out it's rocks. Like, it's like a hardened stone of piss or something. I think it's like when or you like have minerals. too much salt in your body and you have to piss it out through your wiener. I have no idea. I mean, I know that nobody in my family has ever had anything like that ever happen. I don't think it's like a f familial... I bet... It, I think that says? almost everything is genetic in some way or another because like... I, I never have any real issues with that stuff at all. I mean, I think I've probably pissed out kidney stones before, but I've I don't never think had any sort of. I thought that they were like so painful that you would know. Oh no, I've had like a piss. There's like a spectrum. Was... Wait, I do think. women get kidney stones? They do. Oh, I've never heard of a woman having a they kidney do. stone. It happens. I had a kidney infection one time, and what? my fever was so high <laughs> from having a kidney infection that I started hallucinating, and I thought that I was the avatar. Oh god! And when I was, was this? Like, when was this? When I was like fifteen. Oh fuck! And <laughs> that would have been so much more fun if it was recent. It was all fun. No, I was in my bed hallucinating. I was like, "Oh my god, I need to like learn all the different types of bending. I only have a week." And then my brother was like playing in the hallway. And I remember being so pissed because I was like, "Oh my god, he's like making it impossible to focus on my avatar training." And I was so fucking angry, and I was what just high out of my fucking mind because my fever was like giving me brain damage. Did you try to water bend? I don't remember. Dude, I feel like I every kid has at some point tried to water bend or fire bend or air or bend. Blood bend. Yeah, oh, blood bending is so OP. What would y'all pick if you could choose one? Air bending. Why? Because it's cool. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be fun to be able to like manipulate your body in that way, like at any time. I mean, you could with like fire or earth, but air is just so like, oh no, it's clean. You're not going to make a mess. I feel like that's OP as fuck. Because yeah. then like you go into someone's fight, you just remove the air from their face. What do they do? I feel they like just die. That's some kind of like cursed. Straight up, like, you just insta kill them. Take the air out of their lungs and remove it. That's so. What would you pick? I don't even know anything about Avatar. Okay, so you have the ability to control earth, wind, fire, water. Yeah. Earth, wind, fire, water. Which one would you control? Probably earth. For what? Because. Don't take instruction. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it would just be the most effective, I right? I moved the dirt off my carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my carpets aren't dirty. What do you mean? Oh, whatever. No, they're <laughs> yeah. completely clean. And no, well, all right. So you think if you have water, water can get uh, deleted by fire, right? And then fire, and, and then- What? No, isn't it the opposite? It's the opposite. No, yeah, no. If you put a lot of fire around water, it's going to evaporate the water. Yeah, but if you put a bunch of water on fire, it's going to turn off the well, fire. It depends, on, right, exactly. So they cancel each other out. So you don't want to be either one of those because you can just easily lose, right? Okay, sure. So like air, like at a certain point, like you can't really lift up a, a large amount of dirt with just air. Why not? Because it's too much dirt. That's How why. do you, well, what if you're really good at air bending? Then, if somebody was equally as good at earth bending, then you wouldn't but be able to do. Why do you want to move so much earth? Because yeah, what are you doing with all that dirt? <laughs> you could do whatever the fuck you want with it. Number Make one, it like what? Yeah, I don't know. You could build like a um, I, I don't know, like a thing. You could build you like could an build under, you could true. build an underground city. That's true. That'd you could cool. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And also, I was just I was thinking in terms of like a strategic advantage against the other three. I wasn't even thinking about like what what am I going to use? What the fuck am I going to use? No, gonna you use would any never have to fight anybody else that could do it. You would be the only person on Earth that had control of one of those elements. Well, then I'd probably say air. Yeah. So, to what? Because you could fly around and shit, right? I mean, would you, okay. Do that? Let's, let's be realistic. If you could fly, would you want to? Well, like not all the time, yes. but just like a just like maybe on on onto the roof or something. I would sleep in midair. Yeah, but with but you can fly with any of them. Yeah? Yes. Like, how, you how are you going to fly with fire? That sounds like a bad time. Rocket ship. Rocket ships do that. Yeah, That's what the rocket show, they, they use like the fire hands and feet. Yeah, like Iron Man does that shit too. Wouldn't that burn your hand? No, because you control No, because you're a firebender. Sounds yeah. like that's fake. 
Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of fake shit to me. Yeah, that's right. Or if you're earthbender, you could just make the ground rise up and move you forward like you're flying. Well, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah that's what Toph does. Probably. I never watched that show. I don't know a fucking thing about watch it. Watch the live action. Oh, such a, I've heard that it's not the best. I'm shocked. Oh, my really? jaw hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe well, that. Well, I kind of, I had um not like the highest expectations, but I was like, you know what? I, I bet that they could like turn out something good because of what they did with the One Piece one. But I mean, I also like, I wasn't that surprised that people didn't love it, but I was like, well, maybe. Yeah, I feel like the big difference is that for One Piece, Oda oversaw it. I don't think anybody oversaw the Avatar one. I thought some people that made the Avatar yeah, I, I thought I heard that they yeah, specifically I, didn't want their names attached to it. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> That's how bad they thought it was. I don't know. Did they do that? Maybe. I mean, like... I thought I heard that from one of you guys. Maybe not. If you heard it from me, it's probably a lie. Hold on, let me check. Yeah. Okay. Just fucking oh. made that shit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for fun. What? A little bit no of fun. Way. So what else has happened this week that you guys, like, yeah. What, what Sekiro. Else? Sekiro, you've been playing Sekiro. Yep. And uh, so you I... you still haven't beaten it. Okay, so first of all, I stopped playing it originally. Uh, because Genichiro is a bad boss. It's, so, it's okay. broken and it's not well, fair. Okay. So first of all, I'd like to retract that statement. Yeah. Genichiro was a perfect fight. Yeah, it was really good. Really good. I was in a I was in a bad place mentally when I fought him last time. Now I'm in a much better place. Okay. And I enjoyed nice. every second of it. Uh, I played for, I want to go on record saying this, I played for six hours and 27 minutes a year ago. Okay. What did they actually leave? Joined. They left to create oh, yeah, so, differences. So they joined when it was first announced in 2018, but two years later, they left due to creative differences. Yep, so that, exactly. that means that they really did not like what so they were doing, I guess. It sucked, so they left. Okay. Uh, so I got past Kenichiro. I've so far played for 11 hours and 17 minutes. Uh, I have just beaten Al, <clears> uh, <throat> which is the best fight I've ever done in any Souls games. Uh, rivaled only by Radon and uh, Radon from Elden Ring and Ludwig from Bloodborne. Uh huh. I would say are my favorite fights. Yeah. F I think Millennia. Fuck that fight. That shit sucks. It was bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bullshit. But now I'm on Owl Two, right? And I the red one. The red one. Yeah. And man, <laughs> man, oh man, uh, that is a thrust for where I'm at. I want to make it very clear where I'm at. Okay, I have been told this. Is the, I just beat Owl. I talked to Emma. I got the bell. I went to go ring it. The moment I was able to unlock this fight, I did. Okay, now the problem is that my chat is telling me <laughs> that if I don't beat it right now at where I'm at, then it's going to go away and I'm never going to be able to fight it. So I have to beat it right now. I don't think that happens. I don't think that happens either. Yeah, yeah I'm but going back later to fight it means you're a pussy. Yeah. No, so, okay. I don't think it means that. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, nice. I, I think it would be great to just go out and experience the game for what it is because I feel like what's going to happen is I feel like if I actually grind and I beat Owl 2 right now, it's going to make every other fight that comes after feel lackluster. And yeah. I'm worried about that because I've been told he's the hardest fight. Is that true or no? Uh, it's not true. I think uh, Ishan, who's the last boss, is the hardest fight. I thought he, uh, was, I thought he was easier. Than Owl? Yeah. Uh, it, it depends, right? It, it probably is just like a state of mind thing. Yeah. I've I've been told that the Owl 2 fight is incredibly difficult. And then there's something else called a Great Dragon. That yeah. is, is that a hard one? Uh, no, it's not. Great okay, dragon. I haven't fought that one. The Divine Dragon he's talking about. Where you jump up in the lightning. Oh. The clouds. Meh. Yeah. yeah. And then what about the Great Demon? Ooh, Ooh the that's fire a bad one? time. Ooh, yeah, that's a bad time. time. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a bad, a bad time. time. Yeah. Okay. It's not like incredibly hard. It's just a bad time. Yeah, it's like a bad very time. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That one took me quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, that so, took me a while. So too. I want to explain why Owl is the best fight in all souls. Okay. For me. The moment, first of all, the moment that you have to go against your dad, that was rough. Yeah. Okay. Saying, I killed my dad. So straight up. Like, Piece of shit. And first of all, finding out your dad's alive. And the first thing that you see after you meet him after three years of thinking he's dead is, well, now I have to kill you because yeah. you want to kill my ruler. I can't have that. First of all, you thrust attack him. Yeah. Instant Makiri counter because he invented it. The coolest thing. And I was like, how is he doing this every time? And I kept doing it. And then I was like, oh my God, he was the guy who invented it. 
So no shit, he McKeary counters everything. That was insane. I never did a thrust. I didn't even know that could happen. I Dude, never did a thrust attack. Have you ever thrust him? Because my chest like- I never, th 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 I th never th th did that attack. So my chest been trolling the fuck out of me? Yeah. And the same and thing happened to me. They're like, Troy thrust attacking him. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. then he fucking like- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Then when you die, do you know what he says? When your first death goes down, he says, one. Because he knows that shadows die twice. Which was so That's fucking clever, cool yeah. to me. <laughs> and then he's just in, in a fight versus his own son. He's the most underhanded piece of shit. Oh, with the little thing? Yeah. yeah. Like, smoke bomb. <laughs> Tough love. Poison <laughs> yeah. smoke cloud. Ha <laughs> ha. God, dude. It was just perfect. And even more so, the, the song that plays during Owl. Owl, and the song versus Owl 2 just sucks. But the one versus Owl 1 is just, it's so perfect. I listen to that shit while I'm lifting. It yeah. is so good, man. And just everything about that fight. I mean, I can't even think. Yeah, obviously, besides Radon, Radon, his story is also so insane, where he's like holding back the planets from collapsing. Him the getting stars. A, yeah, him getting an STD from Millennia because he's got the rot. Oh, uh, dude, it's so... And the, the, how he, like, he loves his horse, so he manipulates gravity so he can ride him into battle because his weight would be too much otherwise. It's just so fucking cool, bro. Fuck, I love Souls games. That being said, I'm miserable right now. Why? Oh, just because of how chat gets. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah just don't read it. I can't. Really? <laughs> I, I like when my chat's being, like, kind of toxic during... Because I feel like that's the whole fun of it is, like, you know... You you do your run. You watch other people's run and be like, "Lol, they're so bad." But like, you know, you know that you do want them to beat it. Like, you you are rooting for them, but you're like, "Lol, bad. You See, suck." Like, I think that's fun. That was not the case with my chat. And I remember <laughs> with Dark Souls, people would actively have hate threads whenever I would kill a boss. They would yep. be like, "I can't believe this fucking idiot killed it. He doesn't even know how to play the game, and he just hit the attack, and the boss literally missed three attacks in a row for no was reason." It, wasn't that like how long? Five, six years ago, you played it. Yep, that's, that's right. That, that level of like elitism and gatekeeping is crazy because, like, I know that like the Souls games are known for like their difficulty, but like they're not. Like, I, I really it's feel really like any. Not that big of a yeah, deal, I, guys. I really feel like anyone could beat it as long as they put time into it. Like they're de they're designed to be beaten. Like they're, the the it's creators want you to, to win. Lose. So here's the crazy thing. Yep. I feel like you've probably heard from me more than anybody that I love your chat. Right. You, you I say like I think Asmodee's chat? Yeah. chat is so nice. I think well, they that get a, makes yeah. Oh, makes I think they get a nice. horrible reputation. <laughs> so I noticed something. Yeah. <laughs> you went live earlier to stream No Rest for the Wicked. I did. Right, and that was when, right, I went to go play Sekiro. Yeah. So every other Sekiro stream where you weren't live, it's really bad. The <laughs> one where you were live, everybody was so positive in my chat, dude. They're like, nice try, man, nice try, nice try, nice try, hey, gay, get him again next time. Then I go live when you're <laughs> offline. Bro, you're retarded. Kill yourself. You're so bad. I <laughs> wonder do you just what? not have like the spite gene? Because like for mm. me, when I see like that one person chat, it's like, well, you're a girl, so you shouldn't play. I'm like, well, now I'm going to beat it. Like, Wait, yeah. you, people say that? That makes not, so not, much very, not very often. Oh, okay. Not very often at all. Okay. Well, it used to be very common. I've talked mm. about it before. Like, eight years ago on Twitch, that was super common. Now yeah. I really don't see it that much. Yeah. Interestingly, usually also when he's offline. <laughs> but, but I'm the witch king. Yeah, when yeah. I see stuff like that, I don't get like upset or mad. I'm just like, well, I can do it though. So. Oh, I am. Uh, no, I don't have that. I get in. Oh, man. So, I, I just have like the spite gene or something. I don't know. So I get I get called a narcissist a bit. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that I am one. Okay, but I would say I have a lot of pride in myself. Okay. And if there's one thing that I can't stand, and it's so bad as a streamer, when I think that someone is just a dumb, fat, fucking piece of shit, and they're telling me that I'm so bad, and I think about what they look like when they're behind that fucking keyboard saying that shit. Well, that's, oh, why, it's, that's why it's funny. No, it's not funny <laughs> to me, man. It makes me so fucking mad. <laughs> oh, and my chat, no, and I can't hide it. I cannot yeah. hide it. I, 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 did I went on a banning spree? Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, my God. The worst thing was, it wasn't one banning spree. I went on two banning sprees today. Because even in Honkai Star Rail, people were fucking with me today. And oh, I just, sorry. Yeah, I guess I wasn't live. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think, I feel like you have a lot more people interested in you playing Honkai Star Rail than you think. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Why is that? 
Well, because it's, your, your gameplay's fun. Oh, I mean, it's not really... Get, I, I don't think I've... Like, I remember I played auto in that game for so long that, like, it made me actually do a boss fight and I had forgot how to play. Yeah. And plus, I still get a lot of Asmund's character better. Asmund's character better. Oh, it probably is. Oh, it is. Yeah. And one million percent is. I'm also at the point where, like, uh, mm -hmm. I can't build any of the fucking... Uh, I don't want to talk about Hawkeye Star right now, man. That game made me so fucking mad this morning. They, they finally released bad content yeah. for me. It fucking pissed me off so much. I'm, I'm, I'm st I actually couldn't beat something in the game for the first time ever in really? two years. Well, maybe I should go back and try it. You'll crush it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, because like... I, I know why, too. The only reason why I cannot beat it is because I'm missing a character. I need... You actually need a... Someone's going to beat it without it. I need a character to beat it because my account isn't good enough yeah. to do it without having a Clara... Uh, Topaz or a Himiko. I have none of them. So I took you my- You don't have a Himiko? I have one now. Oh, okay. I got my 300 selector ticket and I got yeah, my fucking Himiko. Himiko is my like lose 50-50 character yep. every time. Yep. I, I haven't really played Honkai in a while though. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that shit made me so fucking angry because the game's been so well balanced, but I think now I have the follow-up character. Now I'll beat it. Surely I'll beat it now. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, it was frustrating as shit. Uh, but yeah, I think I think you're doing a good service, man. I think you're holding uh, holding back all the little I hold roaches. back all of the evil, yeah, and all of the all of the bad things. And if I go offline, they're dispersed. Into <laughs> Dude, the rest you of know the what? Website. Like we always say, he needs to play these games. Mm. Like the top of my list, you need to play Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, like, really. I'm you being really so do. serious. Like, it's like so of all the games we've said, like Genshin, Undertale, like yeah. Doki Doki is like SS tier stream game. The rest are like A. I really? guarantee you, if you were to put one of your, this game changed my life. Oh, yeah. It would have over yeah, a million views. Yeah, and also, it's like the same as like when I played Dark Souls, like everyone's already played it, so People they want to like see. Yeah, yes, they, they yeah. know what's coming and they want to see your reaction. And it's like a six hour game, right? Yeah, it's you, short. You could bang so it I out in one, it in stream. one day. Yeah, no I will say I like the beginning, you're like, when does it start? But like once it starts, you're like, holy fuck, that was Wait, so worth it. Okay. I, yeah. I will be real from, I was never bored the whole time. I didn't, I don't really care for like a lot of the like, um, well, I don't want to spoil anything for him, but yeah. I the beginning was a bit slow for me. It is crazy though, because even even if you think you know what's gonna happen, you don't yeah. know what's gonna happen. Because like even me, like I was disassociating because I was like, <laughs> I, I knew about a couple things. I'm sure everybody knows at least a couple things. But do you know anything is. about this game? I know that it's an anime game with girls. Yep, that's about oh, it. So he doesn't know about. Yeah, he, I played it like a week after it came out, and I already knew like one of the main spoilers. No, I don't know yeah. shit about it. And uh, there's a girl in that game that I really like, and uh, there's stuff that you can do in that game that I didn't think that you could do. Which is wild. Wait, which character? Purple hair girl. Uh, of course. Oh my She's god. She's my favorite too. Dude. Okay. Oh fuck! There's a scene that's so, oh, it's insane. Holy <laughs> fuck! That game is nuts. You try you it. Play it. I will. Maybe I'll try it out. Well, okay. Mean, is it okay? I Actually, do feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's sure. I mean, sure. It's a, very, it's a very replayable game too because yeah. there's a lot of um, RNG in it. Okay. Let's think realistically. Uh, okay. There's a lot of games coming out. Well, I've been playing. I actually got a Steam Deck. I got this thing right here. Yeah. And I got this to play Grand Blue Fantasy <laughs> Relink. So like an AFK farm. And like, I, I, before the show, I asked if I either of y'all had played it. Tecton's like, yeah, I played it. And I'm like, for how long? He said four hours. Because I got sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four hours. Bro, I've been playing this shit like crazy. I have like almost 400 hours okay, on Okay, let me see why that's bullshit though. Because your whole chat came into my chat today and said, dude, you, what, Asmund's played Honkai at Bank 3rd and you haven't. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, because he was sponsored. Yeah. I have not been sponsored. I what? didn't get that sponsor either. And Miz got that sponsor. Yeah, I was like, bullshit. what the heck? Bullshit, bro. Did you like it, by the way? I have no fucking idea what happened in that game. Cool. I feel like I was playing, I was watching Interstellar and Inception at the same time. And both of the plots you had to pay attention to simultaneously yep. <laughs> and understand what the fuck was going on. To my understanding, I have no clue. You know Luocha? Yeah. Well, his other version, Otto, like killed everybody for a girl. And Ooh. so, like, everybody's dead. And that's the. That's the game. That's what happened? And then I think the main character becomes like God or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that probably makes sense, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I played it a little bit. It was okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I would play it again or like get really that into yeah, fuck it. it. Don't do it. I'm not sure. Maybe it's probably something also like with those story games. 
There's like one thing that I fucking hate about games is whenever I play, I, I go to play a game and there's a 45 minute exposition story where I just like, and it's like, okay, you go through 20 minutes of fucking cinematic and dialogue and then it's five fucking minutes, maybe at the most of gameplay yeah. and it's 30 more minutes of, of, of talking. It's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, I want to play. I think it's good when the dialogue's good. Like, there are games, I don't know, have you ever had an experience where, like, the talking was so good you didn't give a fuck about the combat? Like, for me, like... Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, or for me, like, Mass Effect. Yeah. Persona like, Mass Effect? sometimes. Which one? Persona sometimes. Yeah, Persona for me all the times. Yeah, Persona, Mass Effect, Cyberpunk, uh, Undertale. Yeah. Which you'll play. Oh, Simply's been playing Undertale What's he on think? stream. I think he likes it. I haven't gotten to ask him, but I watched him play it a little bit. It was fun. My, uh, my buddy Pink played Undertale. Mm, first you know, time? Recently? Yeah, and uh, you know the part where there's like the leaves and you have to walk through the leaves and not fall through the holes? Mm -hmm. Is she got stuck in there for two and a half hours. I can't win them all. <laughs> so she just quit. I'm not even kidding you. That's a real thing that happened. Isn't it like the beginning? Yep. It's right past where you move the rocks. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> That's so sad though because it's such a good game. Yeah, she just, she rage quit. Well, over. if it was that good, then she wouldn't have known how to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, you have to play Doki Doki and Undertale. Oh and like, God. people will come out like fucking rats because people love those games, but they haven't had any spotlight in a while. Yeah. But oh my God, those games were like, like Coffin of Andy and Lele. These were like 10 times bigger these, than that. The problem is like, whenever I play a new game, there's like, so somebody said on Twitter, they said, the new I hope you die is I hope Asmongold plays your favorite game. Because people just absolutely get so upset. I remember whenever I started Grand Blue, and a lot of the Grand Blue people on Twitter were like having meltdowns about this. They were really unhappy and mad. They were like, oh my God, he's going to ruin our game. He's actually going to fucking kill our game. Like, what happened? Dude, <laughs> and I've, so, yeah, I'm afraid to almost, but I will do it. And I will actually do it because they get mad. I, uh, I've i been getting the same comments in the gotcha community. Really? Yeah, I hope Tectone plays your gotcha game. Right? Yep. I've been getting that shit since Ark Knights. Like the Grim Reaper. Yep. I, I don't like get that. it, man. What, what do they think is going to happen? Like your communities are going to like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody well, will actually say so that the game... So this is what happened with Helldivers 2 is that I started playing the game and then there was a Reddit thread on Helldivers 2 subreddit about how... Does anybody notice how at the same time that Asmund made his video, the community got worse at the same time? I saw that. And then they were all like discussing it. They're like, yeah, I think he did this. <laughs> and they're like, well, how would he do this? He didn't even play with anybody else. Well, you know how he is. And everybody else is like, yeah, we know him. <laughs> he <laughs> sucks. And that's all it was. So yeah, like I always, I find it funny whenever I play a new game because that's always what'll happen. People get so upset about it. How do you feel about it? You got to think it's funny. I do. I, yeah. I like watching them be miserable. Like if they didn't suffer, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. God, these people are just, they're just so fucking stupid though. It's funny to me. It really is. It is, but it's just like, it's like really shocking trying to imagine what these people are like. Well, this happened with Monster Hunter too. I remember whenever I started playing the game, everybody was like, oh my God. Monster Hunter's dead now. He's going to kill it. But he's, It's over. But oh what, what is God. their frame of reference? Like what other game community? Well, um, basically, uh, did I, I, I went into Final Fantasy fourteen, and okay. they didn't like that. And then I was in WoW and everybody hated me in WoW. And then I started playing Tower of Fantasy. That game died. So then, fast. Oh. Yeah, I, I, Meteoric death. And That game just had like no content. Like, they'd be like, here's this big amusement park. It's like, okay. Yippee! <laughs> Yay! I remember and that. And then oh there's my God. like nothing to do in it. God, that sponsor was so fucking bad. I know exactly what you're referring to. God, that shit was terrible. I didn't, fuck? I didn't mind it, but I was just like, oh, wow, they made an amusement park, but then there was like no content inside of it. It was just yeah. like a like a VR chat map, basically. Yep. There Dumb was, as fuck. There was content. What do you mean? Well, yeah. there was like the mini games, but it was like yeah. nothing like it wasn't good content. It was not. It was, it was, not. It was very like, yeah. I don't know. There were like, things you could do, but it wasn't that you as good as the do. gold saucer in Final Fantasy. I'll tell you that. What's the gold saucer? It's like a place that has, it's like a casino. Oh, yeah. I know the gold yeah, saucer. Yeah. yeah, I've been there. Yes, it was sick. I mean, I don't know. Like, there was that game, and then so I killed that game. And then how many other games did I kill? Like, I'd have to really sit down and think about it. Okay, here's a great question. Yeah. Is there any game that you've actually tried to kill? I've actually tried to kill a game. 
Like you wanted to ruin a games community. Have you ever done that? Have I actively tried to ruin a games community? Yes. Um, I would say that the classic WoW server that I was on was noticeably worse because of my existence. Yep. And it was the point where everybody on the server was either in my guild or never going to play with anybody in my guild. Yep. Because we had so many different Olympus guilds and I told them that it was okay to ninja loot from anybody outside of the guild. <laughs> so they would just steal things from people outside of the guild all the time yeah. and then they would message me about it and I would be like, wow, that's terrible. I'm going to kick them out of the guild right away and I'd do nothing about it, right? <laughs> and so, and, and I, you know, sometimes I'd even give them promotions and stuff. And so, yeah, I basically ruined that. Um, that, was, that was a pretty big one right there. And then on my old, old server... I collapsed three raiding guilds by recruiting enough people out of the raiding guild. And then after my own guild collapsed due to internal toxicity that was primarily because of me, then the entire server uh, died for Alliance because nobody else could raid because there were no guilds left. All right. Yeah. A, yeah, it was a good time. By the way, Emmy, <laughs> uh, your game show, always on. Is it a game show? Or is it like a reality um, it's television? It's like an uh, elevated IRL show. You said you're doing ice cream. Hmm? Why don't you do plumbing? You know what? That's actually not a terrible idea. I know. I have lots of good ideas. Yeah, because yeah, we because uh, the idea is like you know, me and Emily, we try new stuff together. But since AT and T's paying for it, we can like have more of a budget. Yeah, yep. maybe we could be like plumbers, or we could like fix someone's house or something. You should be. That's you, not a bad idea. You should do plumbing. You should do construction work, and you should do maid service, where maid you clean service. Asmund's house. Oh God! I don't know if AT and T is gonna like that. You one. clean Sorry. one room. You clean his bathroom with toothbrushes. You think you do, but you don't. <laughs> you think that's funny. You think it's good, and I can guarantee you, it is a lot worse than you would imagine. When you walk through the bathroom and yeah? the spores start to ignite, the spores, <laughs> and you walk oh, away with man. eighteen diseases. You'll then, then realize the next no episode mere mortal. Be, um... Didn't you have acne after being at the house for like two hours? Oh yeah, I, I got a, a couple breakouts, yeah. There it is. Yeah, normally I only get pimples when I have like severe stress in a week. But yeah, I had like three pimples after leaving your house. I just feel like you're going way too easy. Okay, you make sandwiches, you make ice cream. Okay. But it's I fun because we can meet people and it is fun. serve them food. But the thing is, I don't want you to have fun for those shows. Oh I want God. you to be fucking miserable. I wouldn't mind some suffering. You know? Okay, so here's the thing. I want you to mind the suffering. <laughs> I really want you to just the go like that. suffering. I am not having fun, okay? <laughs> to where it's like, it doesn't matter how much publicity this gets, this was a horrible time. I think plumbing would be great. Because like, I, mean, I want to see extra Emily and you cry. I think that'd be great. What do you think? Yeah, we could find someone who like, you know, they have like a broken toilet. Their like fridge needs to be fixed. But yeah. then what happens if we can't do it? You can't end the stream until you fix it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I think that's like, yeah, okay, let's just get a new refrigerator ordered. We have to go to Home Depot or Best yeah, Buy exactly. and, and deliver them a new one. We have to carry it ourselves up the stairs. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be really good. What would be like one of the worst experiences ever? The worst on electrician. experiences? <laughs> electrician would suck. No, but I want something like, like on, a, on a dastardly level. Hold on, and put you in the most uncomfortable situations ever. Yeah, what's one that could be on stream? I mean, I would just say like any kind of public humiliation for me, but I mean, if we're like out in public, that's just like going to happen anyway. What's like one of those uncomfortable situations you ever think you could be in as a customer service employee? As a customer service employee, I hate when someone is upset at you and is like, not like yelling at you, but like their tone is very angry. I just like instantly, my eyes start watering. Yeah, so like yeah. if I were dealing with like, genuinely upset customers, I probably would be very uncomfortable. Oh, no. I, there's there's an Impractical Joker skit that I'm sure I could find something horrible. Impractical. You ever watch that shit? No. You ever seen Impractical I've Jokers? Heard of this I've probably heard of it. I've probably seen it. I just don't recognize the name. It's these four best friends who compete to humiliate each other. Yeah. And like, and like, they have like earpieces in and anything these guys tell them to do on the earpiece, uh -huh. they have to do or they lose. And whoever loses... It's like a horrible punishment where they cannot say no to. Oh, fuck. It is, dude, I've wanted to do that so bad for an IRL stream. It would be so sick. Customer service. How about trying to build something like with wood or so, like uh, build a dog house or? Oh, we, I we, don't know. we could build like a place set or something. Yeah, yeah. 
build a swing set, and then like you have to sit on the swings, and then if it collapses, that's the end of the stream. I thought of it. Here we go. Here's what you have to do. Okay? You have to be an art instructor for parents and their children. Okay? Okay. But <laughs> you have to tell all of the kids that their paintings are terrible. And you have to paint over their paintings with a massive red X. And you have to destroy Dude, these children. that is fucked up. <laughs> right. I like that a lot. Wait, I actually brought my drawings today. You want to see? Wait, what'd you do? My drawings. I was well, about to say. So, I, did you see PewDiePie's 100 days drawing yes. thing? Mm -hmm. So, I've been doing that, but I haven't been doing it as consistent. Like, he didn't skip any days. Well, he skipped like one day, but he wrote like, couldn't draw today. Yeah. I've been missing a lot of days, but I'm still like doing it, just not consecutively. Eh? Yeah, they're not the best, but I'm making my progress. I think you're a very good artist. You drew my egg Thank the you. other day. And I thought it was very good. Or go back to page one. Who is that? Liam. That's your brother? Or, no, that's not my brother. Oh. No, Liam. <laughs> We're going this is go your to page day? one. Wait, that's your days? What the f Bro, these are fucking awesome. All right, I went to art high school. So I, I do have like a head Dude, start. Dude, have you seen this shit? Yeah, it looks good. Wait, you saw this? I just did. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's this? Uh, it's just a cosplayer that I found on TikTok. So That's you went William. to an art Damn. high school? Mm -hmm. How does that work? Um, that's you, no? No. That's, that's you cosplaying the Hasbun Hotel character, no? Well, it's another cosplayer, but she uh. like kind of copied my makeup for it. Bro. I drew her. Oh, wait, that's you. Go back. I drew you sitting hey. there. <laughs> hey, what Let the fuck? See. It's just a scribble. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's badass, <laughs> dude. Sorry, what'd you ask? Uh, dude, nothing. I, this is just, this is just really good. Like really, really. I never knew you could draw like this, and it's not like digital, so it's like harder because you're using yeah. like permanent colors and you can't go back. And I see barely any erase marks at all. Yeah, I've I've been trying not to erase too much. Do do, do you post this often on like social um, media? I've been showing my stream like as progress goes. Oh, Jay's yeah. saying show the camera, bro. Yeah, show the Randy one. Why don't, why don't you post uh, your drawings daily on Twitter? I don't want to. Okay, that's fair. Dude, these are sick as fuck. Oh, that's soda popping. Soda pop? Yeah. Does he look miserable? No, he actually looks happy. That's see. rare. It's like see. a shiny version. Your show camera? There it is. Yeah, it's a little wonky. I'm not good at drawing, guys. Am I crazy or is there like a bug inside the studio? That's a cricket, yeah. I think oh. it's like defective or something because they're usually not supposed to pop off right now. Yeah. I'll show the... I wonder if you think they can hear that? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, my, yeah look at that. They can hear that? It looks really good. Day two. You want to see? Oh my God. Yeah, I'll look through it. I've only done nine days so far. Uh-huh. Because yeah, I skipped a bunch. I started actually Holy like... Holy shit. Two and a half weeks ago. Dude, keep me updated on that shit. Oh my that's, god. That's awesome. I'm gonna try to get to 100 and see the difference. Yeah. That's insane. That kind of makes me want to draw as well. I used to yeah, love drawing. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I got really yeah. inspired by PewDiePie's thing because he started as a complete beginner yeah. and his improvement was crazy. Yeah. I never really got into drawing in any way beyond stick figures. We might hear the death of a bug. Uh-huh. They're, they're currently hunting for the bug. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are really nice. Oh Thanks. my god! And that's so that that's where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, the, looking those at tech. Aren't as good. Yeah. What the fuck? There it is. <laughs> yeah, these are great. Thanks. I'm very impressed. Yeah, for me, I was always really, really dog shit at drawing. I never understood it. The cricketing has stopped. Uh oh, well, he's, he's dead. fucking dead now. He's rip bozo. Oh, oh. He, he, <laughs> yeah. he didn't get it. Uh, Maybe he knew somebody was getting close. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, this is the part where I start uh, ranting about shit that I know y'all don't watch. Yeah. Uh, professional wrestling. Okay. There's a wrestler called Sting. You guys oh, know yeah, him? with the mask. Yep. Yeah, of course. Uh, he uh, he retired last night. Good for him. Uh, for, I think it was 38 years of professional wrestling. I've been watching him since I was in second grade. Yeah. And his last match, I think, was the greatest send-off match of all time. Really? Yes. So just to paint you a picture. So it starts off with what I think is two or one of the best tag teams on the entire planet, if not the definitive best, called the Young Bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been following them since their time in Ring of Honor, uh, wrestling with Kevin Steen when they were known as the Mount Rushmore of wrestling uh, with uh, Adam Cole. 
fucking insane. Insanely talented tag teams, very good opponents. And they're like gigabad guys. Sting goes into his entrance. His, his buddy comes up first, Darby Allen, a guy who he's raised because he reminds him of him. Darby yeah. Allen is a wrestler, which, yo, Jay, pull up a photo of this guy. Uh, Jay, or uh, Darby Allen has a half of his face painted as a skull. Uh -huh. uh, and that represents his, I believe his uncle, uh, who died in a car crash next to him, and he died to save Darby's life. So uh -huh. he wrestles oh, as wow. if half of his body is already dead. Uh -huh. uh, so he enters as his tag team partner, and it starts off where he enters, and it plays a full career retrospective of everything Sting has done, and then his two sons enter as Sting's previous two gimmicks. And they're all standing side by side. So it's Darby Allen, Sting, and his two sons. And they all go into this wrestling ring together. Yeah. Okay. They beat the fuck out of the Young Bucks. Throwing them through tables. You know, throwing them off ledges, all this shit. And then about, that's that's Darby Allen. Incredible talent. <laughs> uh -huh. Really uh, in, insane fucking talent. He's, he, this guy, his goal, I'm not even kidding you. So his goal going into this match, and he said this, was during his retirement uh, match, he was going to try to kill himself uh -huh. in the match. Okay, yo, Jay, can you pull up the glass spot? Uh, so th the Young Bucks thwart off their sons and they start beating the fuck out of Sting and then Darby has to put a stop to him. Uh -huh. So Darby sets up six chairs and real glass. Jay, if you can show the clip of the real glass, a real glass Does he bear. throw him through the glass? Okay, so he sets up a 16-foot ladder. Yeah. Gets onto the top of it and goes, puts the Young Bucks on the glass panel. Uh-huh. Darby Allen jumps off 16 feet. The Young Bucks get out of the way. Yeah. He lands on real glass. How do you know it's real? Jay, can you pull up the clip? Uh, if, you, if you see it, you would understand that it's real glass. Okay, and I really want, I don't want to spoil why you know that it's real glass. Okay. Oh, God. I, yeah. I can guess. Okay, let's, let's, why don't you check this out? <laughs> So you let me know. Just wait. Just wait. You'll you'll start to understand why it was real glass in a second. Zoom up. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Bro, there yeah. it is. Dude, yeah. Yeah. no. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So he starts bleeding out. And there's also a bunch of glass lodged. Well, that's into not so bad. Oh, it gets worse when you see the damage after. No, no, no. Cause like I had I I punched through a car window one time and a lot of the glass like cut my arm uh -huh. and it really wasn't that bad. That I mean, looks, this is a lot worse than that. that but still. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking bad. Yeah. Uh, so he's no, out they're, of the But they're, they're very, they're, they're not deep scars or deep cuts. Well, Maybe a couple of them are. Dude, some of still like sticking out of him. Yeah, there's, there's yeah, some. Yeah, that's fine. You do it. Well, I'm not going to do it. It would hurt like hell. Okay. I'm just saying it's like, you know, maybe on his arm, it might have pierced a vein. Other than that, it's just going to hurt for a few days. There was like, so there you go. So there was like a three oh inch shard God. lodged into his like kidney. Oh, really? Yeah. And he was well, bleeding out. Bad. He was bleeding out bad. Yeah. Right. So then it's the young bucks. And now it's a two on one because they already got rid of the sun. They start fighting Sting. Okay. They take Sting. And they throw him through a pane of glass. Oh my God. Okay. Then they take and they do this thing called the EVP trigger, which yeah. is where they grab both of his arms, they stand on each side, and then they knee him in the skull at the same time. Uh huh. Kicks out. Okay. Nobody's ever kicked out of the EVP trigger. People started freaking the fuck out. So they say, okay, fuck it. We'll just do it again. Okay. In wrestling, there's a three count. Okay. One, two. If you don't kick out before three, you lose the match. Right. Okay. So they, the Young Bucks do the trigger. And this guy kicks out at one, which is like the thing that he's known for. And people freak the fuck out, okay? They take him, they break him through some more tables, and they do the EVB trigger one more time. And just as about to end, Darby Allen crashes into him because he came back after 20 minutes of bleeding out on the fucking floor. Jesus. Okay, in, in wrestling, when you are on your retirement match, it's expected that you lose. Right. Uh, there's a line that this happens for... um. 
Ric Flair. When Ric Flair went to go retire, who was also there. Ric Flair is yeah. one of Sting's best friends. And uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was also there for his retirement match because they're his best friends. They wanted to see his final match in person. And they also helped, right? Like they were guarding Sting while he was getting beat up by the Eve, or by the by the Young Bucks because they didn't want him to be hurt. But then the Young Bucks just beat up. And these guys are 70-year-old, by the way. So the Young Bucks are beating the fuck out of these <laughs> the, old the men. The Young Bucks. And the Young Bucks are also yeah. like 35, but regardless. Right. Uh, they're beating the fuck out of these fucking dudes. Oh, oh is he going to show more angles? Yeah. Anyways, God, it's bad. Also, from that height, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Uh, so he's legitimately trying to kill himself. Well, he should have gone face first then. He should have. But yeah. why, why is he doing that? Uh, well, he was gonna he was gonna try to beat up the young bucks because they were on the <laughs> they were on the glass pane. You know, he's got to beat him. He's gonna he was gonna cough and drop him. He's gonna kill him, beat yeah. him like that, make them go through it. Uh, but yeah, so in Ric Flair's retirement match, which happened like twenty years ago, versus um, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels says, "I love you. I'm sorry." Kicks him in the jaw, pins him, and that ends Ric Flair's career. People for years have been losing their final match. Uh -huh. So the Young Bucks get Darby Allen out again. And they say to Sting, we don't love you. We hate you. Kick him in the fucking jaw. At the, two of them at the same time. One count, two count, and he kicks out again. And then Darby Allen comes back in. They beat the fuck out of him. Darby Allen coffin drops the Young Bucks. And then Sting hits his finisher, and he wins his final match. Oh my God. As the champions too, which is like almost never happened. And this dude's like seven. How old is this thing, bro? Like, that's yeah. crazy. He's like 68. God damn, that's badass. I would say, I would say somewhere between 64 and 68. I would love to know that it's 72. 72? That's the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. Look up Sting WWE. Pretty sure he's 64. Yeah. He is Sting age. 1959, that means... 64. Oh, let's go. Mega brand. 64 is still, That's still bro, crazy, like, yeah. Old as fuck. Still. Uh, it was... It, it's being it's being regarded as the best going out match of all time. Yeah. It was just fucking amazing, bro. It's nuts, man. Holy fuck. Yeah. Like, watching that guy go through the glass, that shit was fucking funny. I know. <laughs> Dude. Just jump through it. I, I need to take you guys to a wrestling match. Like, yeah? in real life. I think you guys would fucking love it, man. Really? I, I'm a firm advocate of if you take someone to a good wrestling match, there's not really any way to not like it. It starts off the same every time, which is... Yeah. So, are they actually hitting each other or what? Like, does this shit hurt or what? It's like... Oh, this shit's fake, is it not? And then you just, like, watch them kick this shit out of each other. You see the passion, because, like, WWE wrestlers' bodies, they're fucked up. Like, they are fucked up. I would bet, yeah. They're, they're, they're going out there intentionally just getting their ass beat every single fucking night. So I have nothing but respect for these guys, but uh, I think you guys would really like it. And I think if you guys were to train as professional wrestlers for a day... What? I think that'd be so fucking cool. That's a, that's a bit of a stretch, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's... That's, that's, a, that's a bit. That's a lot. Dude, I'll be oh, real. That's a big difference. So I did, I did training for a good while uh, in professional wrestling with Austin Anarchy Pro Wrestling. The amount of people that you see come in, train for one day, and then never come back is insane. It's like half, right? Yes, because like I'm not gonna, yeah. like, it's like you get a new person in and you just beat the fuck out of them. Yeah. And, that, and then you say, this is it every day. And then it is every day. Like they get you up there, they chop you 20 fucking, or sorry, chop you 20 fucking times. Your, your chest would just be bleeding red. They'll tell you to fall on the ground and fall on the ground and fall on the ground. And the crazy thing is, when I first started training, we didn't even have a ring to train in. Yeah. We trained in a fucking park, right? We just, in a fucking park, like on concrete and grass and dirt. So that shit sucked balls. And then three weeks after, we got a ring, which was really nice. But uh, yeah, the shit that professional wrestlers do, the things that they put their body through, it's just so cool. Man. I always assume that like the storylines are a little bit like kind of dramatized. Of course, but, of course. Uh, I mean, you jump off of a fucking ladder like that and that shit's going to hurt no matter what. Absolutely. It doesn't matter like, if it's, I mean, even if that was fake glass, like you've got to land in the right way. I mean, like you would be fucked up. Like I'll, I'll be honest, like I, I don't think I could do that. Sam. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. Especially when they, and fuck bro, the, the reason, the fun fact is uh, there's another wrestler called Jack Perry who wanted to do a spot called, uh, he wanted to go, he wanted to do a spot with real glass because people don't do that shit besides like backyard hicks. Uh, but one of my favorite wrestlers, CM Punk, called this guy like a total fucking idiot, like fucking retard. Why the mm -hmm. fuck would you ever do that shit? Yeah. And then CM Punk left the company, went to WWE. So Darby Allen also did the real glass spot just to spite what CM Punk said to the company. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I just can't, I, 
That's just gotta hurt. Well, maybe you can do that for uh, for your show. You can be a professional yeah, wrestler. Yeah, we Wouldn't can do cool? professional wrestling yeah. for a day. I'll dive into a glass table. I Imagine wonder, I just fucking bounce off of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you guys would like wrestling a lot. I had a, I had like twenty people over last night, all watching the show. Who was there? Morg, Morg Pie. She was there. And then, uh, yeah, Jimmy here too, and a whole bunch of that. I, I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but uh, yeah, it's just a That's good time, chill. man. That's chill. I mean, yeah. as long as I'm not the one doing it, going through the fucking glass. <laughs> yeah. 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 Otherwise, it'd be watch okay. Watch other people do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, watching other people do it is good. Yeah. yeah. We used to do backyard wrestling all the time whenever I was younger, right? So like, oh, I did, did the same thing. You did? Okay, yeah. there you go. Wait, yeah, wait, me and so you did that as a girl? Yeah. Okay, what happened? Um. So me and it was like two... Two like two boys that live in the neighborhood. We yeah. would just go on the trampoline and we would play Super Smash Brothers. And we uh -huh. would just beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. So I told you guys about that. That's how I got. I have like a scar on my arm from when he threw his Chihuahua at me as like a special move. Oh, you can't really see it anymore, but he like threw it's his there. Fucking Chihuahua. Yeah, it was fucked up. Oh, I can <laughs> see it. Yeah, it's easy to see. Fuck. <laughs> well, what is your definition of backyard wrestling? Well, um, we had this one game that we would play that we would throw two by fours at each other. And that was a pretty fun game. We had that one. And then we would also whip each other um, for 10 minutes and then take turns. Well, we would play like three songs in like our, on our stereo and then beat the shit out of each other. I still have scars on my back from it. From like, also, I would like dig the the skin off of my back. You do that a lot. Wait, I do. Why? I do. Um. Well, I I use a lot of reasons, but uh, yeah. There's like a lot of like red marks and like scratches all over my back because of it. Fuck. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. And we did that for a long time. And then we would also like just throw each other around in my bedroom. And then my mom even bought a second mattress and or like you know one at Goodwill, and she put it against the wall. So she basically made us a padded room. <laughs> <laughs> and so we would just throw each other against the wall. And That's there's like so even fun. holes in the wall for it and shit too. Like what we went absolutely fuck? fucking ape shit. That's insane. Yeah, and she would just let us do it too. I don't know if kids do that shit anymore. Because e even do. at well, even at school, like on the playground, um, there'd be a, so we had this big sand pit. Yeah. And it'd be like 10 kids would go there. And then yeah, we usually would just like wrestle beat the shit of each other. Yeah. Then eventually they made us stop because we started throwing rocks at each other. But I feel like now, like, they would never let kids do that. I bet they do the ex same exact thing now. <laughs> like, because I remember whenever... Did you guys ever have monkey bars where you would climb yeah. on them? Yeah. We used to get on the monkey bars. One person facing each other. I heard they don't let you do that anymore. Like, hang with, like, your legs from the monkey bar. Because if you well, fall, you could paralyze well, yourself. Well, no, we, we'd hang with our arms. And then we'd raise our legs up and try to push the other person off. Oh, and chicken? So, so I would yeah. kick them in the face, bro. Like, I would love that. That was my favorite fucking game. Oh, that's so fun. It was so good. I always wonder, like, because, you know, my nose is a little bit, like, kind of inward. Because I think it kicked in the face a lot. I wonder. That probably did do something. Yeah, yeah. Probably oh, fucked yeah, me up a little bit. Something that I've been following that I've yeah. seen that you've been, like, talking about is um that girl who did oh, the Oh, my God. The okay, so what do, you know, what do you know about okay, that? Okay, so I yeah. watched the, like, original run, like, the first one that she yeah. did. And people were like, this is fake. She can, it's like, fake. see through it or whatever. Yeah. And then I watched the most recent one where she, like, had a secret third monitor. Yeah. So why is she... So it, it's like confirmed fake, right? Of course. It's okay. like a 99.9% .9 situation. Have you seen this, Tecton? What were we talking so about? So basically, there's this girl in Monster Hunter who faked the run of killing Alatreon, who's like the second yes. or one of the mm -hmm. hardest bosses in the game. And she killed it in like 14 minutes too, which is a really, really fast kill. And so she went and she does the video, it gets disproven, and then she does a second video and it doesn't get disproven. And then Carl Jobs make a video and he says, this shit was fake. And he says, I see everything. And he says, on the 29th of February, I am releasing a video and it will be judgment day. And he releases this fucking video and it completely exposed it. It's, the, it did you see the interview that I did with the moderators? No, what moderators? So, her so, mods? Yes. And so, Wait, like anyway, her Twitch chat mods? Of course. And so, um, <laughs> so as soon as I finished the video, one of the guys that was in the, the chat, he was watching it and like, he was like, no, I know that she didn't lie. And I said, okay, do you want to come into Discord and talk about it? And so he's like, yeah, of course. I say, thank fucking God. Now I have content. 
And so he decides to come into Discord and he's explaining it to me and he still is resolute on the fact that it was not fake and that she did do it blindfolded. There was nothing wrong about it and that she's willing to do it under uh, you know, other types of controls as well. And so even though... I, in my opinion, I, I mean, I, th- I think yeah. if it, you know, if it is real, she can easily adjust the conditions to like satisfy. And it, it wouldn't matter, right? Yeah, it, yeah, wouldn't, it matter. wouldn't matter. Well, yeah, because what was, yeah, like I, I see like the third monitor thing. Mm-hmm. Like uh, this guy was saying, like she had a secret third monitor that she was actually looking at. She was like peeking out of her blindfold or whatever. But when I was watching the run, like I've seen real blindfolded speedruns. And there's someone who does the same thing in Super Mario with a fake blindfolded speedrun. Yeah, speed I saw run. that. It's like, you can, there's just like things that make no sense. Like yeah. the way that they control the camera. It's like, how do you know to do that? Yeah, exactly. And you, you also shouldn't even need to move the camera to like see the enemies. Yeah. If like, you're like, you know, tracking where your character is. And she didn't use lock on either. Yeah, so there was no lock on or anything. She was just straight up doing it all on her but own. But why... See, what I don't understand is, like, this isn't the first time that someone's been accused of, like, doing, like, a fake blindfolded run or, like, a fake speed run in general. Yeah. Why do people do this? Because I I know it's, like, they want, like, you know, the achievement, the notoriety, but I feel like having these things, they don't even, like, give you that much, like, you know, it's not like you, like, blow up as a streamer. When you're stupid, a lot of things make sense that don't. And so, (laughs) like, that's really what happens. Is that whenever I just you're don't a dumbass, see the you, benefit for taking such a major risk to your reputation. Well, that's because you thought about it. Okay. <laughs> so that definitely that see that's something people don't do because from their perspective, they're like, I'm gonna do this. Everybody's gonna see me. They're gonna know it's me. Everybody who said that I was bad because I'm a girl is gonna look stupid. And there's like a bunch of ego into it. They're thinking about what they're gonna do after yeah. everybody knows that I they're mean, it's, the best. It's not just girls. Like the Mario guy was a guy. Just putting that out there for no particular reason. But <laughs> girls do cheat usually, guys. That's that's really what I was trying to say. Obviously, of, co- of, of course, of course, yeah. right? Of course. And so, yeah. Basically, what I'm saying is like, that's the reason is that they just do it for the clout. And, and like, even the moderator was like, yeah, everybody around the world saw this video and they knew that she could do it. And he was like, bro, like, this guy was the biggest hype man I've ever seen. That just seen. makes me kind of sad if, if it is a lie. Like, I'm still like, you know, I think it's fun. I, I really, that I just hope makes it me keeps sad. Going. Like, you know, there's people that believe in you and maybe you're like, lying to them to make them proud of you. That just makes me sad. No, I don't think that's it. I think that he knows, I think that he knows what the truth of it is. I mm-hmm. think that if the, if if she's lying, he knows it. And if she's not lying, he also knows it. I don't think that he is stupid enough to not know it. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen because I asked, because like the thing is that after the first video that debunked it, then she came back and she said, you're stupid, I'll do it again. And so she did it again. But now that this video debunked it, she didn't do that. So that's what's interesting to me. Yeah. Well, if it was real, she can go back and do it again. Exactly. And like, maybe like, you know, it's annoying, but the way I see it is like she farms more. You 100% and- farm more. Yeah. Whenever she does it next time, there will yeah, be dude, more if, people if, watching that stream than any other Oh my other God. Time. If I were someone who could do blindfolded <laughs> speed runs and people kept accusing me of it being fake, I would just do them like a million times. Yeah, exactly. Because pe- people would keep watching. Yeah. Yeah, like when I when I did league, there, I would get a lot of people that are like, "Oh, I don't believe you're actually this rank." I wasn't even like a crazy high rank, and I'd be like, "Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just get another account there." And that, that yeah. was like all that I did. And I had like a- four after you accounts. did that, were they like, "Oh, wow, now we acknowledge that you actually have some skill in the game?" No, but of it, course it, not. No, but it didn't matter. Yeah, I was just farming them. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if you're getting people to watch that, that's a good idea. Yeah, and then there there were people who knew it was real, and they were just chilling. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, I'm glad that you're you know doing it." So. I. I, I've I've tried to give up on trying to prove myself whenever I do something because somebody will always come up with like some kind of excuse. Like I used to like whenever yep. I was playing, it's so annoying. Yeah, I hate that so like I went downstairs <laughs> to read on Google how to do a how to do something. Yeah, it was crazy. Like who does this? Oh yeah, whenever you do a fight and you go to the bath and they say he's looking up guides. Yeah, it's he's like, looking up how to do it. It's like okay, <laughs> or I'm just pissing. Who knows, man? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Maybe I'm just. Whenever I person. see that, I'm like. Whatever. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Oh, I find that stuff to be great. I, I, I'm really excited to see what she's going to do next. I'm so excited. I am. I'm invested. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, because every single time, like now, like this is everybody's been tuning in 
to watch my stream to know like what's going to happen next. Like, is she going to say anything? Like, no, is she going to do anything? I would love if she did another one and it like ended up being real and she'd be like, oh, sorry guys. Now I'm going to, you know, face the other wall and stuff. Well, that's the thing is like, I actually, I was really hoping, I told them that like, I was hoping that she prove it, prove them wrong. Yeah. And it was actually real. That would be a better that would story. It, it would be yeah. a better story. Yeah. But you know what? And I told them even at that point, right? I said, if she faked it, I will be more impressed than if she did it. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like, because this is a really good fake. I mean, for real. Like, it got me. And also, I mean, to be fair, like, I, I really don't spend a lot of time paying attention to this kind of stuff. So a lot of things, like, I didn't notice that I should have. But in general, yeah, I got I got fooled. I thought that, I thought it was legit. I did. Yeah, you very rarely get got. I did there. Yeah, you got got. I got got. I, I, and I, I'll be honest, I, it, you know, it keeps you sharp. You know, <laughs> it's getting got every once in a while is a good thing. I feel like that's probably that's probably everything we need to talk about today, huh? We talked about a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like, yeah, we did. There's been a lot of things going on. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. I'm chilling. I'm good. Everything like that. So, yeah, guys. Um, you want to read some YouTube comments? Yeah, I'm super down. Uh, we got a message from Unmentionable, which is, I still cannot believe I'm older than Tectone and Emeru. Especially Tectone. Man looks about the same or even a bit older than Asmin. Even a bit older than Asmin. Oh, go, wow. Man. That's really old. Are you guys only like three, four years apart? Yeah, we're like four years apart. Are they yeah. saying that like it's like you're a different generation three. from yeah. each other? Yeah. Must have been very soul sucking. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Must have been very soul sucking to make this one one and a half hour podcast episode just sitting and talking then working at a real job. Hey, amen, brother. I tried to dislike Techie back in the early Genshin days, but dang, that boy owns all his faults and won me over. I couldn't hmm. imagine the cast without him. Hey, thank you for posting uh -huh. this on your alt account. Anyways, that's probably the episode, huh? Check out the Patreon. Yeah. Yep, that's about it for me, yeah. Yeah, watch our Patreon. That's right, boys. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. You didn't say the... You didn't say peace. I was waiting for it. Oh. I was waiting for it, too. Peace. There it is. <laughs> Uh, today, we're doing something really fun. We're doing an anime tier list because Asmund's been getting into Death Note lately Finally. and he's been loving it, which gets me excited. So now we have a tier list of uh, some of the best anime ever created, the top 300. We probably won't get them all. I don't care, what are, are y'all's top three anime? Top three? Yeah, it's off the rip. It's tough because I've like I've been watching anime over a period of like... I want to say like 15 years. Yeah. So it's hard to compare something I watched a year ago to something I have I watched like recently. Cause like, you know, like when you're younger, it's different. But I'd yeah. probably say for me, like Mob Psycho, Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood. I know you have feelings about people, but I love that one oh, when I, when I watched it. Yeah. So it's kind of based off like the feeling. Oh, maybe Death Note would be up there too. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of like Mob. I love Mob. Yeah. What about you, Asmund? Berserk. Good one. Ghosts in the Shell. Good one. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Which season? One and two. Dude, actually saying that you like one is a very bold take. Not only is it a bold take, but it's actually the only correct take. I think it's also very good. <laughs> I yes. feel like people who don't like it just don't get it. And it's also, yes. it is the most important season for the actions that come after that. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm part it's five. It's my favorite by far. I love part five. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Um, Giorno Giovanna. Not yet. Holy fuck. Can I tell you what it's about? I, I'm, I will get there. Okay. I will get there. <laughs>